What we're doing now is just quickly putting together some food for the monkeys because we've got some monkeys in the cages we want to catch and release. They've already had a bit of uh, snacks this morning, but just give them something. Just send them off on a full tummy. So we've got uh, Boris who's, who's going to be released. In the case of Boris, as you know, we caught him on the beachfront in a Manzum Toti. He was in a very bad way. We're going to release him in one of the close by nature areas. This is Boris. When the monkey was under sedation at the vet and our vet Dr. Kerry Eason could inspect him, we came to the conclusion that he had been hit by a motor vehicle. He has a number of pellets in his body, lead pellets. So he had already been shot at a number of times by some moron with an air gun or maybe a collection of them. There's always a feeling of anxiety with releasing any monkey because you know that you're taking him from a period of rescue and care and he's having to go out there and face the big wide world. I'm going to take a walk around there quickly. Look, it looks pretty good here. There's some people at the reserve here, down here, so he'll probably move down that way. Look moving. beautifully, hey. eh? He's sitting up here looking back. There he goes. Through the trees. Ah, oh, he's moving so up. Nothing more we could do for that boy. Whenever we release a monkey, our joy is always tempered by the knowledge of the terrible situation that faces them out there. So, as happy as we are to release him, you can't help but think, well, you know, how far is he going to go before the first pellet hits him or before the first car hits him? Or, and if you do that, you become so paranoid about releasing them that you don't. So, we've just got to put that out of your mind and say, you know what? He's an urban monkey. We've put him in the best place we could possibly put him. That I do know. So we've given him the best chance we can. It's a nice and place. It's up to him. Go well, Boris.